Hello, my name is Gary Clem. I've got a nickname of Turtle, as most truck drivers do. Um, I'm originally from Eaton, Ohio, and I've been down here for 25 plus years working in racing. My wife and I actually started doing some souvenirs in the mid to late 90s. And then I've been with race teams since 99 or 2000, uh, Bush Series and Cup Series. I got the nickname Turtle early on. Uh, we were going to leave Rockingham, I believe, which we don't go there anymore. And it was with souvenirs and uh, I was the last one to get hooked up and everything torn down ready to leave. And we had a bunch of us that was leaving in a caravan, we'll say, out to Phoenix because that was the next race at that time. So somebody got on the CB and said, who are we waiting on? And one of the guys said, a friend of mine, he said, a turtle, I guess. And I'd never had that nickname. So I said, are you guys talking about me? And they said, yeah, we're waiting on a turtle. So all the way to Phoenix and back, it was turtle this and turtle that. So I just kind of got the handle turtle and I've stayed with it. I figured there's worse names I could have. So I'll take turtle. It uh, works well with the uh, law enforcement too. If they do pull you over or they ask you in a way station, and they see Turtle's name on the door, they you know, ask how you get that. And I try to shame them into, uh, you wouldn't give me a ticket for a Turtle, would you? So it's worked most of the time. Been with quite a few teams. It's kind of standard where people move around. You go with a crew chief or one team closes down or whatever. Um, Met a lot of good people out here, a lot of good friends and crew chiefs. Heading towards the tail end of my career and I'm happy to be a co-driver this year on the sixth team with Scott. So I don't go to the track all the time. I have a little bit more of a home life, which is welcome after 25 years on the road. I enjoy it here at Roush Fenway. I've been with a lot of different teams. I'd have to put this at the top. It's one of the best ones I've ever worked for. One of my most memorable wins was uh, my first one, I uh, was in the Bush Series and we won down at uh, Homestead, last race of the year. And it was good because it was my first race win and it was my birthday weekend. So along with that, sometimes I call Homestead my favorite track because it's just a good memory. In the trucking, I figured out a couple years ago that I've logged about over two million miles in a truck in the 25 years, been to all the tracks you know, 40 or 50 times when you figure twice a year to some of them. So maybe some of that shine has worn off because you've been to them so many times, but I'm competitive, so it's always interesting to go there and see how good you can do. I met a lot of nice people out here. Um, probably don't remember much from my high school years, but I'll remember these friends forever because they've been in my life for like 25 years. Um, been married to my wife for 40 plus years. Got a couple daughters and they're married now and that's a funny story because with their dad in racing they always had to ask when, when they could get married, when dad was going to be free. So they got married on off weekends and they've blessed me with three grandchildren, light of my life. My general week now is I just basically Monday through Thursday before the truck leaves I come in every day and we do what we call turn the truck around, which is just basically restocking, going through the different equipments, the suspension cart and spare engines and gears and stuff. Restock the trailer, obviously clean it up, mop it out top and bottom, clean the lounge, um, get the uniforms back in for different sponsor that week. Um, we have plenty of time to do it, it seems like. I uh, usually, if the truck and trailer is dirty, I'll clean that up especially if it's going to a semi-close race where if he doesn't have time to get it washed at the track, then it's done. I'm the co-driver with a Pop Top, and I really enjoy him. I've known him for a dozen plus years and never had a chance to work with him, but I think we're getting along real well. And a lot of tracks, like the local one, he will just go to and from, and on weekends where it's eight or more hours from the shop, they will usually fly me in on a Saturday or Sunday and then I'll help get the truck back. 
and then of course on long distance ones, Vegas, Texas, whatever, uh, both truck drivers will go, will go round trip. Um, it just all has to do with the DOT rules and how many hours it takes to get to the track and whether he needs help or not. So that's pretty uh, neat scenario this year. It's something new I've not been used to, but I enjoy it. And uh, some people say, oh, you, do you mind not going to the track all the time anymore? And I'm thinking, well, no, I've been to you know, this track, like I say, 40 or 50 times, so I don't mind it. I've seen it. Um, I will see some of the new tracks this year, and that's always exciting. But um, I enjoy the truck driving part of it. Um, it's kind of like you in the truck, and uh, when we're going long distance, yeah, to be honest, you hardly ever see your co-driver. If you're driving, he's back in the sleeper, and vice versa. So you just drive your 10 hours or whatever, and get some fuel, and switch positions. You get stuff in traffic jams, and that's no fun in road construction, but it's pretty neat to see America uh, from a semi-perspective. And, and you meet a lot of nest people out there. And just, you know, they honk at you when they go by, or the truck stops. They always admire your job and want to know how they can get in the sport. And um, it's pretty interesting out there.